The 7500 series type Z and EXPZC is a compact purge and pressurization component that packs a lot of punch for its size. One of the design requirements for this revolutionary device was to make it easy to install. To mount the 7500-01, you need to consider two things. One is your electrical connections. You need power to this unit, and then there's power coming out for the enclosure power or alarms. The next thing you need to consider is your pneumatic connections. Inside this unit, there's a differential pressure sensor. You need to reference the outside environment if this is mounted inside the enclosure. So if this part is inside the enclosure, you need to reference the uh, outside atmosphere. Now, these ports are labeled minus and plus, minus being low and plus being the high pressure port. And for each one, there's two, one on the side and one on uh, the back. So you can choose which side you want to put your ports for referencing the outside environment. For my conditions, I'm going to reference the back part. So I need to block up both the high and the low part. And these fittings will come with the control unit. Now this is a plug and I would plug the low pressure and then I would plug the high pressure. Make sure those are tight onto the enclosure. Then I would put um, a sintered element on my high pressure point because this is inside your enclosure. It's referenced in the enclosure pressure and this is a centered element to keep out dust and dirt. The next thing I need to do is reference the outside environment. And I do that through a bulkhead fitting on the enclosure and then a fitting on the unit itself and tubing running in between it. So this fitting would get, then get onto the low pressure port and that would mount to the enclosure. Now for your bulkhead fitting, your reference pressure, you need a little bit bigger than a 9 16th hole because this is a 9 16th uh, by 18 thread and that would go right through the enclosure and you would screw that onto the enclosure to provide a seal. Then I would take a, the second centered element and then screw that onto the port to provide me again keeping dirt and dust out of the enclosure. From there you can connect your tubing back into the, and that would give you uh, reference pressure and give you enclosure pressure. Now that we have uh, the pneumatic and the electrical connections, now I need to mount this to the enclosure. And it's very easy. Uh, what I need is a 85 millimeter by 137 millimeter opening inside my enclosure, which I have here. From there, I have to loosen these four screws and take off the bracket. So once those are loosened, then this bracket just comes right off. And you can see there's set screws on here. And there's, these are two millimeter hex, and the hex key comes with every unit. On this unit, there's a gasket on this lip, and this will mount to the enclosure, and it'll give you a compression fitting. So you got to watch out for this, this screw. Uh, this is a ground screw, just make sure that's in there. Also, if you have this fitting off to the side, you may want to wait to put this in until this is inside the enclosure, because sometimes it's hard to get that inside that, that opening. So once that's in there, you push down on that, and then you would then mount the bracket to the control unit. Once the bracket is mounted to the control unit, the six set screws can be screwed down to provide a compression against your enclosure to provide an IP66 and NEMA4 uh, fitting. Once that is mounted, then the tubing can be added and the installation is completed. Mm -hmm.